inconvenient time right right when you press go mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i think sneezing is like the most dangerous thing you can do when you're driving yeah like i you saw, I saw a meme jerk. on that but i always thought that anyway i'm like how the fuck are you supposed to do this like yeah. there's no safe way to do it well you, you just gotta you, brace on tight and make sure the road's clear real quick yeah, because your eyes are closing. Your yes, eyes are closing like no you matter can't, what. I, I've been trying to sneeze with my eyes open, spit going everywhere. <laughs> How long you been doing that? <laughs> like that didn't work. You know it's well, impossible, you know, I haven't right? been driving like that for a while, like consistently. So I never even knew that was like a thing. I was like, oh, this is a real life problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think Shit. God had vehicles in mind when um <laughs> we had to get stuff out of our nose. All right. All right. Um. How was your past week? It was fine. It was fine. Anything bright and anything good? Anything you want to share with the folks out there? No. No oh, shit. <laughs> Nothing I can think of. I mean, you know, working like the rest of you folks. Shit, don't want to talk about work. It's the weekend. Damn. It's, it's the week- Sunday. It's the end. Of- the shit's over. Don't play. Stop. It's around let the me enjoy. Let me enjoy my last little bit of week. Monday, <laughs> Monday, sneaking up, rubbing yeah. his hands together and shit. Make the most out of these last few hours. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, I went to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Rico. Oh. Probably sounds uh, okay. a lot better. Yeah. Probably sounds a lot better than um. It actually was. Nah, um, let me stop. I'm very appreciative. I'm very happy I got to go to Puerto Rico. I went with my brother and my cousin. It was my brother's per. Oh, it was my brother's birthday. His happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Remy! Happy birthday! All right, um, we're getting older. My birthday's at the end of the month. I'm gonna try to orchestrate something for all y'all out there, but um, I'll let you know as details make themselves available. Mm. Um, so we went to PR, and I tell you the days leading up. The days leading up, I was dog sick, and of course, I would get sick right before. I'm about to go to a tropical island. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I'm throwing, I'm tossing back all the vitamin C packs and anything I can get my hands on, right? Because what I didn't like or the thought of being on an airplane for about three and a half hours next to somebody and I'm sniffling and sneezing, like I didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't want to be the person that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all that. <laughs> we didn't need that. Uh-huh. So, miraculously, the day comes. Our flight was in. Flight was at eleven. Is that a JFK? That was a pain in the ass. I never flew out of JFK Ooh. before. That um, sounds like a pain in the ass. It was. It's a is nice it airport. Like, is it like confusing to get around in the airport? Is it easy to navigate? Nah, it was kind of easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. I you know who I saw? That one. Huh. Young Thug. What? Randomly. What? <laughs> All right. So are we waiting in line. We waiting in line. We at our gate. We're actually about to start boarding, and I see, see. Um, I just look over, and somebody's trying to cut through our line. Like mm-hmm. he's not staying in our line. And I look, and we kind of like catch. Uh, so he has shades on, but I can tell like he saw me looking at him. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, who? This nigga look fucking familiar, mm-hmm. right? And um, I was like, that that's Young Thug, like walking <laughs> as he's walking past me, right? Mm-hmm. So like, he he's skinny as hell. So. Is he tall? Yeah. He probably got like, I'm five ten. He probably got like five inches on me, some shit like that. Oh, that's Four a significant amount. <laughs> so he's yes, right. he's tall. Don't make me feel bad. I'm um, just saying he said five inches. <laughs> that means he's like six three. That's tall. Might be. Might be. Um, Give it. Was take. he like dressed down or? Yeah, he had oh, like a okay. uh, he had like some sweatpants on, some Gucci flip flops or some shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You could tell like he was. And, but the thing that gave it away the most is because he has some thick security guard looking nigga carrying all his bags <laughs> the nigga had like the swat shit on he had like mm-hmm. the bulletproof vest oh, wow. and shit yeah like he looked and he looked like he mean business mm-hmm. like don't stop his stride <laughs> don't stop Rum, his stride <laughs> don't stop his stride son. uh but yeah aside from that um 
I saw freaking um this is so lame. I was down in Atlanta airport once for a layover and I saw a BG. I was like, I don't even know <laughs> why I recognized him cuz who would remember that? I mean, granted, when I saw him, that was almost 10 years ago. So maybe my mind was a little more fresh on BG. Uh-huh. But like, who? BG what? from Cash Money for the, yes. for the people that don't know. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah. I remember being that... like, oh, shit, that's BG. And he just kind of looked at me and I just kept moving. But I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the most unimpressed, like, celebrity yeah, you ran like, into? Yeah, I was like, what? Mm. You know who I ran into? Mm. I was in a. I was in Manhattan one time, and I randomly ran into Sway. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And no, all big ups to Sway. Most mm-hmm. respect to Sway. But I yeah, took yeah, a yeah. picture with him. I took a picture with him, right? Okay. And then, like, I immediately felt whack for taking a picture with Sway. Like, Why I didn't want to post it. I don't know. Whatever, yo. Sway is a legend. <laughs> he was. Don't, don't fraud on Sway. We grew up with him. We did. I want to see that picture. I don't even know where it is. You That's suck. how. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I always run into freaking Terrence Howard. I ran into that nigga like at least three times. Like, <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. How you oh, run into Terrence Howard multiple times? Multiple times. Like, <laughs> well, you know, he lives in Pennsylvania. I don't know if he still does, but he lives out like outside of Philly. Uh, I know so, that. Yeah, a few times I've seen him when I was used to work at Home Depot years ago. He used to come super early in the morning with sunglasses on with his cousin, like anyone care. And like, nigga, ain't nobody. <laughs> Nobody's checking for you. It is 7 a.m. Like, we definitely bringing him up on a podcast, though. Uh, no, because we're to- it's on topic, nigga. <laughs> but I'm not about, to run and- <laughs> I'm not about to run and get his autograph. He's just a person, whatever. You got- and then I, I saw him again jealous. at like Disney World when I was like coming out of high school. That's the first time I saw him. Right. So it's you know, like random multiple places, nigga. What's up? Mm, What's up, y'all? What's, what's up? up? He got What's job up? for you, or something. Right, you something. Had to come up, something. <laughs> yeah, man. You know how I was jealous you met. I was Ooh. jealous you got oh. to take a picture with Amy. Amy. Yeah. yeah. I still. <laughs> you guys are all yelling at me. Why you ain't asking for the tickets? I was like, right? I know. I just my mind went blank. I wasn't expecting to meet her. Yeah, I was tight. I was tight. Tight uh, because we couldn't get tickets. Tight because we couldn't get tickets. Yeah, and man. Tight. That was I didn't walk with you. To see I, I didn't walk with you. I literally said, "Yo, just get the ticket for me." I wasn't doing nothing. I was oh, in the lazy dorm. Bitch. I, I and was you lazy know what? That walk, it really isn't that close. That's probably to where why. we were. Like, lazy and shit. back then, in my mind, I was like, "Whatever." But that's actually not that close. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. I think it was like a half an hour walk. You heard that though? I just read. Um, they're they're doing Another a hologram. Document. No, oh, they're doing what? a hologram tour with Amy. Why? I just heard about that. Don't I don't know how legitimate that. it is. Don't know Come on. That's fucking weird. I don't like that shit. You don't like that shit? No. Who gets paid? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, that too, but I don't know. It's just, no. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's a little gross. Yeah, I don't like it. It's a little ugh. All right, but back to your story. We're we're digressing. All right, yeah, we definitely went on so a tangent. So you're in the airport. You saw a young thugger. Yeah, song Young Thug, but we over that. So mm-hmm. we board the plane, and I get on the plane, and I'm on an aisle seat. You like aisle seats? I'd rather have the aisle seat when I'm not sitting next to somebody I know. Okay. I'd rather have. True. Yeah. I'd rather have really. the window seat mm-hmm. if I'm sitting next to somebody I'm cool with. Gotcha. Only and and specifically this time because I didn't know how sick I was gonna be actually mm-hmm. on the plane. Like if I got one, if I got to get up, I'm a. I, or at I, least I you can, can cough into the aisle a little bit. Exactly. If you need to. Exactly. Yeah. So I get to my seat. You know, I throw the bag in this overhead compartment and all that shit. And right before I sit down, mm-hmm. there's a guy across across who's sitting in the aisle seat, and he's like, "Hey, man. Um, oh, there's two people in the row that I'm in. There's mm-hmm. a woman in a row in the middle seat." He was like, yo, man, do you mind if we switch seats? Um, I'm traveling with my wife and we're split up and she's right there. So she was sitting next to me. I was like, you got an aisle seat? He was like, yep. I was like, oh, we good. So we just switched. Mm -hmm. So I sit down. I'm in a row by myself. We're still boarding. And finally, people come to my row. Mm -hmm. People come to my row. It's a a dude, like a younger dude, probably around our age and a a, a black girl. Mm -hmm. He comes. This dude is dog sick. <laughs> so I switched my seat 
to sit next to somebody who's sicker than me. And I'm not even sniffling. I was at this about to point. say, were you still like really sick? No, nah, I wasn't, you know, but he was nasty sick. Like yeah. like he had the the moment he sat down, I let him in to sit down. And of course he's sitting in the middle next to me. Like they need to put this nigga at the window seat, bro. <laughs> like he's leaning he's leaning on his girl. Like he looks very he looked like he got a stomach virus or something. And he he picks up the spit the throw up bag. Mm. And he's just spitting in it the entire flight. Did he say I'm sorry or apologize to he ain't say anything? Shit to he ain't say nothing to me. Excuse himself, like just, ugh. hell. You was hearing it hit the bottom of the bag and shit. Like, <laughs> oh, Isaiah, come on! I just ate. Oh, I'm oh sorry. Oh my god, ew. That's uh, sorry. I'd go through that. <laughs> yeah. So three and a half hours of that. Uh, Deltas, Deltas, what's up? You ever flown Delta? No, I've heard nothing but bad things about Delta. Of course. Um, I guess <laughs> they, they had to start. They're like, always the ones fucking they up. They always in a movie. Yeah, they yeah. always. I've flown, I've flown Delta, though, but it's been a while since I've I flown didn't know. I didn't know they got free movies. Well, like I said, when I flew, I don't think they... That must be new. They had to. They, they've been going upside motherfuckers' heads. Yeah, they've been, like, you know, putting people in headlocks and shit. Like, right. Like, so throwing babies I'll, off the planes like i don't know if that was <laughs> them <laughs> kicking kittens and shit they were they just been all around bad um yeah so i was watching movies we had wi-fi mm-hmm. um they had a little biscoff cookies them shits was rocking <laughs> are those good <laughs> they look plain yeah, it's plain as shit you know i, I like, like plain shit just sometimes good because you're on in the air <laughs> I, this is did they have the option to listen, buy meals? Listen, or was that they, too short Yeah, of a I think flight? they did. They no. did. You didn't buy no liquor? Nah, you I didn't buy no liquor. Oh. I did it before, but nah, I did it when I was going to the DR, but nah, no, no, not worth it. The guy next to me that I switched the seat with, he was taking shots the entire flight, yo. He got off the plane. Oh, I thought you were the sick guy. I was like, um. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, the other guy with his wife. <laughs> yeah, the other guy with his wife. All right, so uh, we land, we touch down. We immediately go to this place. My man had just got back from Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. So we immediately go to this place, uh, Bebos, to eat. And it was good. The calamari was banging. I ain't going to hold you. It was nice and crispy. I hate that, like, flimsy, floppy calamari. <laughs> um, reasonably priced. I travel for food a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I plan out exactly what I'm eating, you know. And I can tell you my entire... uh. My entire trip, food mm-hmm. was really subpar. Puerto Rican food is whack. Well, wait, 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 wait. Before you What's make up? a claim like that. Okay. <laughs> and have people coming for your neck. Come for um, me. Do you think... I forgot people can't see facial expressions. Come for me. The face I'm making right now. All right. So do you think it was because you didn't go to the right places? Because I know you said that, you know... You guys kind of just were grabbing food wherever. Do you think that if you actually like had more time to research and go to, you know, the quotations foodie places, it'd have okay. been a little better? All right, so I'm basing this not only by this trip, but by food I've had in the states as well. Okay. And uh, we say the states, but they're actually a part of the states. That was one of the revelations. Just like yeah, they're yeah, part this of is the America. state. Okay, yeah, but they ain't been treated like it. They're not. We'll get to that. So we can still say the states. Puerto Rico just needs to be its own place. Very true. Um, it was just unimpressive the whole time. Like even through like we went to, we've had to have gone to about six different restaurants mm-hmm. while we was out there. We was only out there from Thursday to Sunday, and we left mm-hmm. early Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. Um, I can tell you the empanadas. Empanadas is the highlight. Mm-hmm. And I can get that in the states. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just plain. There's no real flavor, mm-hmm. like in comparison to other food. Like dr. Dr. I ate good as hell, yo. Mm-hmm. Like dr. They treat their meats banging. I've had mm-hmm. Peruvian food. Peruvian food is rocking, super flavorful. I really feel like seasoning on Puerto Rican food is salt and pepper. And adobo. The With the adobo. adobo. Yeah, with the, with the Goya. You ain't taste no little sasso, none of that. Nah, nah. Like, it really was plain. Um, Listen, maybe they ran out, okay? Maybe. They just had a tragedy, Isaiah. They did. Cut them some slack. They did. They did. Uh, 
<laughs> nah, Shit. but I mean, it wasn't horrible food, but like, uh, I'm a nothing, foodie. Nothing yeah, like, nothing um, I'm going to be like, this was amazing. Like, my brother had a uh, Mufango. You ever heard of Mufanga? Is it Mufanga or Mufango? Mufango. Yeah, like, I'm not that crazy about that food. I'm not crazy about that. It's just mashed plantains but again like it just well, it doesn't depends. really have i guess flavors. it depends how you make it because you can also did they have chicharron on it in it chicharron on it I it's don't know. like the fried pork well it could be fried chicken skin or fried pork skin i don't Mixed think so in, and i don't know some garlic but that also might be the dominican way because <laughs> that's <laughs> i've had dominican mufongo. dominican had food Puerto is Rican very mufongo, flavorful so. and yeah. all right so i got something to back up my claim mm-hmm. my best friend who just came back from there Mm-hmm. He's Puerto Rican. And mm-hmm. I said the same sentiment to him. He said, yeah, it's whack. Puerto Rican <laughs> food is whack. He, he's Puerto Rican. Dang. Yeah, he okay. said it's whack. And what he said, it was like, um, Puerto Rican's pretty much copy off of like Colombian food. Uh-huh. Like but everything Colombian. Colombian food popping though. I know. They they, he said everything. they just can't do it. <laughs> he said they just can't do it right. Okay. But uh, yeah, so he backed up my claim. So come for me all you want, man. All right. I'm out of this. All right. Um... <laughs> What else we got? Oh, it rained the entire time. Yeah, that's pretty much. Sucks, pretty much. Man. Pretty Didn't much. you get to enjoy the beach? Nah. Like how you go to paradise and it's raining the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it, and what's what's lame is like what we were saying. Like it's very, even though it's it feels like it's another country, but mm-hmm. it's still very Americanized or whatever. Okay. So like, especially where we were staying, mm-hmm. uh, we were standing in San Juan, mm-hmm. uh, very Americanized. But like the fact that it was raining made it made it feel like even more it was mm-hmm. like Jersey. It was hot, but it was just like yeah. you know the end of this summer, like it was like August and it was like raining every day and it was just extra muggy outside. I and... mean, it was like that last week. <laughs> so talking yeah, about right. August, shit, shit October. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Still mosquitoes um, out. But yeah, that that took away from like the the paradise element. Yeah, definitely. It was just like, man, this is I can get this back home. You feel mm-hmm. me? But rain the, the whole shore. time. Go, go down the shore and get this. <laughs> and you know what's whack? Their <laughs> beaches look beautiful. Like the water look beautiful. Like mm-hmm. it looked like it would have been a great time at the beach. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I was looking for um Puerto Rican flag. You know how they always put Puerto Rican flags all over everything here. Mm-hmm. There'd be a Puerto Rican flag on the car seats. Puerto Rican flag mm-hmm. on the. Drink. I wanted to see if they actually do that down there. They don't. I was disappointed. They're there. <laughs> <laughs> They're there. Why they got to rep so hard? They're in the country. I was disappointed. <laughs> um, more over that, hmm. I might piss people off, but I don't understand the Puerto Rican flag a little bit. What do you mean? I don't know. Like, Is it another country? I well, I mean, each like... state has their own flag. Do the uh, I guess so. I never seen my flag. What's our flag look like? What's your flag look like? Wait, from where? Look, which one? You saying my flag? Which one? Yeah, you Pens- all over the map. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Yeah, what's that flag look um, like? It's like I don't know some boring ass Commonwealth shit. I okay. don't remember. I think it's blue. I don't know. I don't remember the state flag. The only one I know is California because they got the bear on it and it looks cool. Okay, that is the flag. <laughs> I got a shirt with the bear on it. That don't yeah, hurt. everybody has a state flag though. New Jersey probably all whack. <laughs> but nobody know their state flag. Nah. But everybody knows the Puerto Rican flag. Yeah, got it. Because it's everywhere. Because it's everywhere. <laughs> um, um, so, like, a lot of the things we wanted to do mm-hmm. while we were out there, we weren't able because the weather. Like, you yeah. didn't want to chance it. You didn't want to go do ATVs because more than likely it's going to be downpour. Oh, fuck. That sucks. Um, we got to go to this uh this uh historical site. I think it's called El Moro. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, a castle. It's a, There's two parts. There's a castle and then there's, like, a, um, a seaport that they defended against. I don't remember. Mm. But uh, it was nice. Dang, was I cool. guess I want to ask some more questions about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask a bunch of history questions. Oh, no. I don't remember. I ain't no fucking historian, nigga. I was taking pictures for the gram, nigga. Oh, my <laughs> God. You uncultured swine. Uh, <laughs> Keep sorry. going. Um, we but didn't get to see the, the castle. So did you, why? Uh, because we were going to come back the next day, but the next day it really started raining. Like that so Saturday, you guys just it was like went raining. and looked at it. You didn't like go inside or anything. No, no, no. We went inside the one part, like the seaport, but on like the other side, there was a castle part of it. Yeah. 
and uh-huh. you can literally spend like you, mm-hmm. you probably spent like an hour and a half mm-hmm. in the in the joint like we were mm-hmm. walking for mad long mm-hmm. um and we were like oh we'll check out the other one because the security guard was like yeah you keep your ticket you can come in it's good for two days you can come oh, wow. in to the other side and mm-hmm. see the castle but when we went to uh old san juan it was in the old san juan mm-hmm. old san juan that's why i was mad yo because old san juan looks dope as hell Mm-hmm. That old San Juan is like has like the cobblestone streets and mm-hmm. it's like very colorful. It's yeah. it's like a you know for me I like taking pictures like mm-hmm. it's like a picture paradise. Mm-hmm. But it was raining all the time. Like you didn't so really why didn't you guys out. go back? Because it was raining. Yeah, because Saturday. Um, but is it like a far walk? You couldn't just take a car straight there. You can take a car there, but it was kind of like I don't know. It started pouring. Well, first of all, the plan was Saturday. My brother was going to get a tattoo. We went on Friday to a uh, to a tattoo spot. Well, we went to one that was right around the corner from our Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb was really nice. Okay, it was really nice. Um, we went there, and they were still recovering from from uh, the hurricane. So mm-hmm. they sent us to one in Old San Juan, and that's when we went to Old San Juan. We started walking around, and then we saw the historical site. And we just mm-hmm. ended up going in there. Mm-hmm. Then we went to the tattoo spot. And my brother was planning to get something on his arm. Then they had to draw it up. And they were like, come back tomorrow. We can mm. do it. It was going to take like three and a half hours. Was this a plan to get a well, tattoo? Or was this kind of spur of the moment thing? Nah, he wanted something. He's been wanting something. But why something. did he choose to do it in Puerto Rico? I don't know. I don't ask no questions. It's his birthday. I don't know. It's just random. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like wondering. Like, you yeah, know, because yeah, you said it's know. like a three hour tattoo. Like. Mm-hmm. He didn't end up getting it. And though. then, like, okay, good. Cause I'm like, he and then you gotta, like, kind of research the artist. I wouldn't, a three hour job on somebody you don't know. Well, they're gonna draw it first. And they drew it. And when we came back, it really wasn't what he was looking well, for. Well, that's, that's what I mean, like, you so, know, that's so, what I'm like, oh, that's risky. <laughs> he was out his deposit, but I was like, man, oh, damn. he'd rather drop 60. He was about to drop like 400. And, yeah. And then and you get might not even you like want, it. You know what yeah. I mean? So I was like, you know. Well, he he made the decision. He was, was he like, yeah, was, was it in like the artist was good though? Did you see the work? Well, the problem was he was describing what he wanted to the front desk person and didn't talk to the actual artist. Mm-hmm. So the front desk person had to play like telephone and then tell the artist what he was looking for, and the artist was just drawing from the description the front desk person gave him. So when he came in, it wasn't really what mm-hmm. he was looking for at all. I mean, did you see samples of the work the person did? Um, Before? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. My brother might have. I don't think he did. I think he was just going off of. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I see your face. <laughs> I see your face. Jeremy, well, that's I'm glad you him. didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he wasn't going to do it. It looked whack as hell. <laughs> oh my gosh! So anyway, that's why you guys didn't go back to the castle. Yeah. So pretty the much plan was to go the there. Time doing yeah. that. Okay. And then, and then when we went there. He decided he wasn't going to get it. And then once we walked out onto the street, it was like downpour, torrential rain. So I'm mm-hmm. like, and this is the last day. Now, um, I'm trying to think what else. We went to this place called, uh, God damn, now I'm forgetting what it was. But it was this, it was this like strip of bars. So we were going there every night. Like mm-hmm. that's where it was going. But it was kind of rainy. So like the first yeah. night wasn't that many people out. Second night, mm-hmm. it was kind of popping. There was a mm-hmm. lot of people. Um. I don't really travel to go to bars for real. I feel like you can mm-hmm. kind of do that everywhere. but And I'm not really into reggaeton that much, so I can only take so much. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, God. They ain't play no, they ain't play no trap. They did. <laughs> they, play, they played some stuff at this one bar, but like, you know, yeah. uh, I mean, the majority was just like reggaeton. And mm-hmm. No, they have the, like, you know, like the trap reggaeton. <laughs> I still don't like that. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I like lyrics. So if I don't know what you're saying, it just it just sound the same. And all the even the trap reggaeton got that same little beat. Got mm-hmm. that same little they won't put trumpets in anything. Trumpets. All right. We're we're, we're gonna just <laughs> skip over this. Okay. So what I wanted to know was you guys chose to vacation to a place that just experienced a huge disaster. Yes. Um and tragedy. So, like, what was that like? Because, I mean, the the fact that it was gloomy as hell didn't help. No. But, you know what I mean? I mean, so many people died. There's a lot of lost souls there. 
that probably haven't transitioned all the way. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just overall the country is still trying to get itself back together. So that's, I'm wondering like, how is it vacationing in a country that just went through something like that? Um, it was, you can tell they were still recovering. Like you can tell they were still rebuilding, even in the spot we were, that was like more of a touristy spot. You Mm -hmm. can tell there was still construction going down. Um, even, at our Airbnb, if it rained hard enough, we had like a whole, like the street we were on was kind of flooded and mm-hmm. you kind of had to jump over a lot to get oh, wow. back to the door. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's interesting while we was out there, you know, I, I like talking to people. So we were talking to like an Uber driver and he was just expressing how it was really bad. It mm-hmm. was really bad. And and the U.S. didn't help. Not at all. Trump Trump didn't help whatsoever. Right. And that you can tell that we were we where we were staying was more built up. Mm-hmm. But I know if you drove out to some mm-hmm. of these other spots that just aren't tourist attractions, yeah. They were probably still run down. And he mm-hmm. was like he was like, Yeah, it there was just no help. There was no relief. Mm-hmm. Trump doesn't care. Uh this, that and third. And it was just like it was sad. Yeah. It was sad because you know that he's affected. And it was only like a 10 minute car ride. So mm-hmm. like you really couldn't go into depth. But you can tell that, you know, people are still living something that's very real. Mm-hmm. And that's outside of what outside of our reality, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It, and it's down season. Mm-hmm. So that's why the you know, man, the prices were very low, but it's down oh, season. Okay. So that's why it was raining a lot. And, you yeah. know, and he said it was like that for it's been like that. For like maybe like two weeks, yeah. it's just been raining nonstop. Yeah, it's but. coming off a of hurricane season too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, at least you guys went and helped out their economy. You know, by still yeah. going to visit. And yeah, we definitely money. helped that out. But yeah, just you didn't feel any weird like energy being there. You don't pay attention to stuff like that. Well, the energy. Well, the energy was down just because it was raining. I'm selfish. I was. I, I, this is a very selfish statement, but it was raining while I was on vacation. No, right, so, right, like, right. Yeah. So like the energy was weird, and it was kind of just trying to make the best out of it. Mm-hmm. But like we didn't see the devastation. Mm-hmm. So we're there. Well, literally. that's not like you couldn't feel it though, or maybe you might not be sensitive to stuff like that. I don't know. You have to like. Yeah, tune I mean. To it. I don't think that was, I think if I wanted to, I would have, but I don't mm-hmm. think it, it wouldn't have just presented itself. If I had saw, if I, no, listen, like if I had saw, like if we had drove out and we had passed yeah, some yeah, things, yeah, yeah. but we were literally in the spots they probably built up mm-hmm. as soon as possible. And the only real off thing is that it was raining and you knew, mm-hmm. you knew. I mean, I guess I felt it hearing him describe it and mm-hmm. yeah, you just, you just so far removed. Like, I ain't going to lie about it. Like, you're just kind of far removed from it. But hearing him talk about it, hearing the Uber driver talk about it, it was something else. Mm-hmm. Um, all in all, it was, a good, it was a good trip. It was my first time traveling with my brother and my cousin. Mm-hmm. It was a good time. Um, oh, the flight back, though. The flight back, the lady across the aisle threw up all over the damn seat. <sighs> But I yeah, know. through gave up a whole and like fifteen minutes into it, the I fuck was, was wrong with her? I was exhausted. I was falling asleep. I woke up and just turned my head, and it, we had to be like twenty minutes. It was like twenty minutes, and she just gave up everything. I don't know what like, was wrong with her. Like is she a fucking child? Like she couldn't get the bag or something? I like, have no idea. God damn, hear. that's ridiculous. She must have been the, drunk. Then I think they moved her seat because she couldn't sit in the seat anymore because it, it was. They had like really grainy materials, so like they can clean it up as much as possible. But like, you really got to get in there because it was all in the crevices. It was all dried up. And, oh ugh. my god! And so every now and then, while you're traveling, you just get a whiff of fucking. How throw old up. was this woman? In your, if you had this guess, too old to be throwing up. Right, throwing up on a plane. She like in her thirties, forties. Probably she was like maybe late twenties, late twenties, early thirties. Oh lord! She's yeah, probably, it was gross. she's probably drunk. Hungover, it was, it was super very gross. hungover. That's trifling. It was all leaking into the aisle and shit. Oh my god! I just woke up to the store this, uh, cleaning it up. Uh like we need to make an emergency landing. 
<laughs> Get me off this shit. That's over, terrible. Over you the, had to go another water. three hours. Yeah, another three hours. You just throw up. You know, throw up lingers. Like it's like it, it's not a consistent smell the whole time. You can just be chilling and be like, Ugh. nigga, yeah, ain't nobody just... say emergency landing over the water. <laughs> Shut up, Zay. <laughs> <laughs> just let me out. <laughs> yeah. So oh while gosh. while I was there, my cousin was paying attention to that Kavanaugh hearing, the Kavanaugh no. decision and mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. That you know what else is whack? I like going on vacations and kind of being removed from politics. Mm-hmm. But you're very, it's very Americanized and it's all over the place. So like you're very reminded, like you didn't get away from that. Mm-hmm. You weren't yeah. getting away. Yeah, I from remember that. when I went on vacation and I did that kind of disconnect from everything. I came back and then that fucking shooting happened in Orlando. I'm like, uh, God dang, can't even look away for a second. Right? It's already another tragedy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I just see everybody on Facebook like rest in peace and all this. And I'm like, what yeah, the like fuck prayers, now? prayers up. Yeah, it's horrible. Oh Lord. That'll let you know. Katie post my America. vacation pics now. Y'all niggas is all sad. <laughs> oh, you out there enjoying yourself while people are <laughs> I know, dying I in bed? Yeah, everybody's all torn sure. up. I couldn't even post my stuff. Right? Selfish. But yeah. <laughs> yo, so <laughs> did you pay attention to that hearing at all? Um, I watched some clips about mm-hmm. it. I mean, it's just a shame because honestly, we're just becoming disconnected with this whole topic and it's because it's just so much. Just like I mean, not disconnected, desensitized mm-hmm. um with all this stuff. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, there's another thing. Can't even keep up. I mean, yeah. I watched a little bit on it, but there were no hardcore facts on either side, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I I hate hearing a bunch of speculation. Like I want to I want to hear it when they find out what the fuck's going on you know and mm. then too when you know that they're still gonna just do whatever they want and put this nigga in the position that they want him in it's just kind of like i could be doing something else yeah <laughs> i think like, the biggest implication was and i had somebody explain this to me because i i really try to distance myself from it the biggest implication about him being supreme court justice mm-hmm. it was that um yeah, oh, yeah, the abortion. He wanted to, yeah, he wanted to overturn. But like I said, they're still gonna do what they want to do. So I'm like, me watching this ain't gonna change nothing right now. Let me go clean up. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's just, just a cluster. It's just yo, <laughs> it's just a cluster, yo. It's mm-hmm. just so much, and yeah, no, like you were saying, like there's no real facts on either side, and it's mm-hmm. all kind of just like going by memory, and it's like him against her but he doesn't seem like it was bad he looked bad yo he gets super mm-hmm. angry some of his responses were ridiculous right and that's what made me feel like he probably did something but either way like he's still a shitty person like mm-hmm. <laughs> regardless so and they still gonna put that motherfucker right in the supreme court so i roll yeah it's bad i don't know where it's going mm-hmm. uh did you see that um, reporter, that Trump Trump going back and forth with that female reporter real quick? Um, I can explain it to I you. Don't, I feel like, I don't know if you told me about it or who did. And what did he say? Yeah, so he was at a press conference and, um, or I don't know, just talking. I don't even know what's press conferences, what's just him rattling off at the fucking mouth. Mm-hmm. But, uh. He had picked her to ask him a question, and mm-hmm. she went to proceed to ask a question. She and he was just like, "Look, look, she, <laughs> look, she didn't even think I was gonna pick her, <laughs> right?" And and she was like, "What?" And she was like, <laughs> right? "No." She was like, "What?" And she was like, "No." I was just thinking. He was like, "No, you. What did he say? Fuck, why well, I forget it?" He was like, "No, you weren't thinking." <laughs> right and she was like excuse me and right, it was weird she was like excuse me he was like oh just ask the question right but when he was saying that if you looked at the dudes behind him yo mm-hmm. they all had this little nasty smirk on their yeah. face like so unprofessional it was gross like it's super gross yeah it's wild gross if you can't tell me like that mentality is not detrimental mm-hmm. But it was like a bully. It was like somebody right. who came and like push you into your locker, and there's a whole bunch of guys like, yeah, yeah get him, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so nasty. Yo. Slap his book at his hand. Yeah, <laughs> <All> right. 
Oh my god. It's so gross. Sick of man. it. Yeah, I'm tired of it. I wonder, um, you think he's gonna get another turn? I mean <laughs> I would say no, but like we all know or we all should know, the Electoral College picks who's the president, not the people. So if they want that motherfucker in there again, he's going to be in there again. He did not win the popular vote. Hillary won the popular vote, and the Electoral College still picked Trump. So we can try our best. Your vote matters. Fuck out of here. But you know what? I mean, we'll see. Yeah, well, I guess we we will. (laughs) We'll see. I know we're about to vote in. What's this vote coming up next month? Is that just the vote in the Democratic and Republican? Well, there's no Republican. The Democratic uh, nominees? I think so. You're asking the wrong person, Britt. Oh, okay. You really are. But yeah, like I said, anyway, it's really a motivating when the Electoral College holds the power to select at the end of the day, not the people. Mm-hmm. So people need to shut up. <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> I always get so frustrated when they're like, yeah, people would have voted. Niggas did vote, yo. The Electoral College put that nigga in there. God, it's right there. Like, the information is right there. They just don't really talk about it. How you know, the Electoral College needs to be abolished. <laughs> you know, I think um, I think the people who are in the know know. But there's also people, I have this mindset that, when you don't allow a group of people to do something for a very long time, mm-hmm. like we, as as people of color, we weren't allowed to vote in this country. The moment you let them vote, they have this, uh, they kind of put it on a pedestal and they kind of forget how the game is really played. And just the idea it's right of, there. Contr- it's right I know, there. it is, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> it is. But like it's kind of like they put it on this this high thing that like oh I'm finally incorporated and change is really going to come when that hasn't been the game. You got to understand that the the goalpost moves every time they let us do something. The goalpost moves, and the real way to to uh, affect politics is really through money. But through we're the money, only one fighting. Or you got to start from the bottom up. So, you know, you got to start with voting for the smaller things and replacing those people that are making it Mm -hmm. crooked. And, of course, it gets more difficult the higher up, you know, the position is. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, that's really the only way voting actually changes anything. But shooting for the top dog, man, that John a lot. Like they need to, <laughs> they need to figure out how to get rid of this fucking electoral college process. That that's some bullshit. Yeah. And that was too like that's some old timey shit. Like having the electoral college, you know, vote. That was when people had limited access, you know, to being able to get like information or even getting their vote out or whatever. You know, you send your representative. Nah, fuck all that. Right, send them by horse and shit. Like, we ain't got yeah, high nah, speed in nah, nigga. Nah. We got Fios, nigga. Yeah, niggas got Fios. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fios, like, why is it? <laughs> you know, I hear a lot of people saying, like, why isn't um, why isn't the, the election process or the voting process an online thing? Oh, because I guess it can get hacked, right? But, I mean, anything yeah, can Yeah, like, hacked. they can't keep nothing safe. Bruh, yeah. they, like, they, like Facebook ain't been safe. There was another hack. I'm, people kind of brushed that out of the rug. I ain't even seen I got the little, it. I got Lord. the notification on my joint. Oh my and what's God. funny is I've been getting mad random calls from random numbers, yo, and uh-huh. it's probably because of that. Oh, it's my like, God. You've been affected. They always hit you with the, you've been affected. Click here to learn more. <laughs> yeah. mm. I don't know. Yeah. Y'all fucked up again? Right. Uh, Yeezy, Yeezy. Lord. <laughs> He's exhausting. Like we tried. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we tried to hold tried. on. We tried to hold on to ye to to Kanye. We tried to see it from his side. Uh, we played devil's advocate long enough. <laughs> I, I mean, gotta, there's still always t- time to play or room to play devil's advocate. But yeah, yeah, but it's just kinda time like, and energy. No, but there is always space for it. <laughs> I'm running out of energy to give a fuck what Kanye right. is doing to even give him any type of energy. It's now, exhausting. the only thing I will agree with, which I didn't even hear about, but I heard on uh, I think the Breakfast Club on the radio, they were saying that Kanye was asking Trump to change the hat from make america great again to just make america great 
Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, that sounds cool and all, but who supposed to do that, him? His why administration. Do so, why do we care so much about this hat, though? Because that's what started everything, yo. That's like the that's like the middle. Like, what's the word I want to use? I don't even know. Catalyst. I guess. Yeah, it's definitely the catalyst, but I had a different um, reference. <laughs> but mm. anyway, that is what started it all again because it said again. So that brings it back to, yeah, make it great again. And that put it puts in the ideology of, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, but everybody was thinking like, yeah, he wants to go back to the olden times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, cool. Take off the again. But still, your administration is ass. You know, what you stand for is ass. And you're not going to be able to make it great. How? Well, great is subjective. Great. Yeah, for exactly. Her. For who? So that's the thing, right? So it's like, eh. And then I heard he's trying to talk about getting some guy out of jail or something. I don't know. Uh, what's it called? Larry have... Hoover? It's like, I guess, if you know more about this, you can talk about it. I ain't got shit else to say. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> I really yeah, no, nah, it was Larry anymore. Hoover. It was Larry Hoover. Um, he was saying that in an alternate universe. Oh, yeah, that was in him. A, yeah, something. in an alternate universe, Larry Hoover is him. Okay, and I was like, Kanye yeah, I get it. I get that. Um, I wish she'd stop talking. Yeah, how long are we going to let the crazy man have the mic? How, he made it to... People around him. Hmm? He, he, made game, like, he made it to the Oval Office. Yo, they'll, let him, they'll let him in the Oval Office. They give him the mic. They don't pull the plug on him. Yeah, let him talk. He was all They don't tell him to shut up and stick yeah, the music. Stick, yeah, stick the, stick the music. You know what I mean? They told LeBron, stick the dribbling. But... Yeah, I kind of lost it when he said that hat made him feel like a superhero. Yeah, nigga. <sighs> it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Um, Cause it's like I know you want the shock value and the blah blah blah, but there's so many other ways to get shock value. I mean, just pose pose naked like your wife. <laughs> oh, I want to see Kanye. Naked. I know nobody wants to see that, but you know what I mean. Like, there's yeah. other ways to get attention, and I mean. I I know a big part of it is attention. It's not all about attention, of course. He actually likes being around this nigga, apparently. But I don't like, know. I look if, up to you. I mean, they're twins. That's you know. I tell you, they like birthday twins, so they mm-hmm. both fucking retarded. But um, well, they don't. Their birthdays aren't the same exact day. But um, I don't know. Maybe he feels comfort in being around egotistical people like himself. I think that's what it is, and I also, you know, I was listening. Or he to thinks maybe something's gonna rub off on him you know what i mean he wants a little piece of something he has i don't yeah there's definitely a element of a power play of of trying to get in position jockeying for position you know he went there with the intention of uh prison reform mm. um and i'm with that you see what's whack about this is like it's double edged because some of the things he says mm-hmm. is is legitimate is something that okay i'm with that i'm with prison reform i think and and another thing is there is an element of he is the president, and mm-hmm. if you want to get something done, you kind of do have to sit at the table with him, right? You know, so cause this this idea that like you can get something done, we know how it's set up. This idea that you can get something done and not have a conversation about it, or not even mm-hmm. invite the president of the United States and sit down with him, is mm-hmm. kind of just like you're kind of just screaming and pouting. True. You know, so somebody has to sit down, but I always yeah, just said. But it's just the the dick riding. Like, you got to add yeah. in all that. But maybe, that's why it's, like, hard to tell. It's like, you know what I mean? Are you trying to kiss ass just so you can get whatever you're asking for? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Or do you just genuinely feel this way? I think he he doesn't even. I think I think he knows what he feels. I, like like we were saying before, Um, if you jump back to the activist uh, uh, episode, he just is a shit communicator, yo. Mm-hmm. He's a very bad communicator. And I think he knows that. Well, my thing is, though, you can say he's a bad communicator, but how is there a good way to say that the Make America Great Again hat makes you feel like Superman? Like, how else can you communicate that? Mm. <laughs> well, I think without... I, so. I was listening to, I told you, Dave Chappelle commented on it. Oh, yeah, and one thing happened? he said, he said, um, is he's very, Kanye is very consistent. Mm-hmm. with what he's been doing you know there was a there was a couple months back when he said he wanted to change the meaning of the uh the confederate flag <laughs> you know you remember you do remember yeah, that though kinda, like yeah. if anything 
it's consistent. If he's trying to change what something symbolizes, he's trying to change what that hat symbolizes. And he also said, Chappelle was also like, he's coming from the standpoint of division. He doesn't like the division. Mm-hmm. So Mm -hmm. he's not communicating that well. You know, Mm -hmm. he's saying these polarizing statements, but him sitting down with the person that everybody hates Mm -hmm. and he's supposed to hate because he's black Mm -hmm. or we feel he's supposed to hate because he's black. And at the end of the day, he can have whatever political views he wants. That's what Mm -hmm. makes America America, you know, Um, Mm -hmm. shouldn't be shunning him for having that. It's just the fact the way he's going about it is just very, it just looked like a menstrual show. Yo, he's all hugging him and shit and that. The, what's it called? The, you, who else? Who else could go up to the president and hug him and like? And it didn't look like nobody was on guard. The Secret Service didn't even care. <laughs> um, and you know what else was gross? As I was watching it, hmm. it was like Donald looking at Donald Trump's face. I only watched it one time. What looking was Donald at looking face. at? Was he looking nervous? No, like he didn't he know was, what he was gonna say. Uh. He was looking like this is great. This is great for me like he was looking like, like he was like he, you he know just what like was, smugly satisfied like you know what was wild was like he was looking at him like even though he's rooting for him like even though this is good for me he was looking at him like oh no he's a little crazy oh no <laughs> like like you know what i mean you could tell he was just like some of the things he was saying he was like i know you guys can't see my face but like he was like nodding his head but you could tell like he wasn't even all the way with it like <laughs> Like, where is this going? Okay, okay, where is it going? But, yeah, I mean, Kanye. But then, too, I mean, he just knows it's going to be something that's going to be talked about a lot. So. He played the game. That's that's the one thing, you know. If anybody played this political system the way to perfection, it was literally Trump, yo. And that mm-hmm. should be scary for people. And that's what's blowing my mind. It should be scary that he can even get in. Or he can even be elected again. But you still support the system. You still kind of think your vote matters. I mean, they've also been asking him and hinting pretty much like since we've been alive <laughs> right before then about him running for president. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they're pulling out all the old clips now and showing like how they've been consistently asking him for decades when is he running for president? Da, 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 da. So at the end of the day, we don't know if this ain't some whole Illuminati <laughs> new world order type shit, you know, where they go, they're putting this man in here to disrupt the system and start to change it over to what they want it to be. Hmm. So that's why I'm like side eye. <laughs> yeah, I think you're kind <laughs> of everything foolish because it's just like. You, you don't know what's what, and at the end of the day, you got to just live, and you can't be afraid. If you're going to die, you're going to die. Like, you can't be afraid mm-hmm. of death, especially not in the times we're living in. It's just like, whatever, man. Just keep moving. It's some mm. bullshit. <laughs> it's some bullshit. Like that fucking emergency damn message from Trump. Yeah. That I was, was like, oh, my God. I said, all right, the next one, we're going to be in the damn shipping containers. Fuck. Right. right. <laughs> I'm telling you, yo, it's the purge. That was the opening scene of the purge, yo. It's like really yo, good. you saw him getting on Air Force One with a piece of piece of toilet tissue on his, on his foot. <sighs> I oh, saw, I was like, yo, who was around you? Nobody could have told you. Whoever was <laughs> recording it, like nobody, no, no, nobody. Don't, don't nobody told tell you. him that. Don't know, but don't don't tell him that. I want to see that little Toilet turd. Paper. I thought it was Photoshop, and I said, "Oh, is this real?" I said, "Oh my god, mm. hot mess." But yeah, it's been an eventful week. It's been an eventful week. Did that happen just this week? The Kanye thing. The past week, I think it happened last week. I can't even keep track. This past of week, yeah. happen anymore. <laughs> That's not like every day is like something. That's what you're asking like, how's my week? I'm like, I don't know. It's can't just keep a blur. up. Mm-hmm. It really is. It's just a yeah. blur. I'm just focused on surviving work <laughs> and getting back home. Listen here, listen here. I'm. I can't wait to for you to be able to talk about work. <laughs> I've been saying that, folks. You do not know what you're missing. You have no idea what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't. And the only reason, I'm going to be totally transparent. I think we are a show of transparency. Only reason she can't talk about it is because she's still employed there. 
and mm-hmm. we're not trying to have no issues. I'm not trying <laughs> to get nobody sued. I'm not trying to get no nothing. But every day we have our little, not every day, but we, we have our talks and she got a new story for me. And I think we're just going as soon as she moves <laughs> as soon as she moves on from this job yo it's going to be a smooth hour of rants oh and i can't gonna... i'll say one thing i remember, right. <laughs> i didn't tell you so two things this week that happened at the job all right uh, so i know that oh, maybe i shouldn't say the other one damn oh, fucking i'm gonna say it so <laughs> If I, if I whisper, they can't hear me. But, right. um, <laughs> so one thing is, I know that there was one kid that was butt naked. Right. <laughs> I don't know why he took his clothes off and they had to put him in a hold because he was just like trying to beat up everybody and breaking shit. So he strips down. So everybody's like, because one part of the hole, you got to wrap the legs. Ain't nobody trying to wrap the legs. <laughs> So one of the teachers, my homegirl, she was like, man, I went and pulled his pants up. Like, everybody stop. She said, I'm pulling his pants up. You know, because they try to be yeah. all technical so sometimes. Sometimes, like, you nah, like, nah. Break. Time yeah. out. Time out. Hold Pulling stop. Pulling pants up. Yeah. Everybody about to be leg wrapping with your little shawang wang out. Your little shawang wang. Uh-uh. Yo, that. naked kids is a constant theme at Britney's job. Yeah. Um, don't say she, it like that. Context. <laughs> she works at a behavioral school. <laughs> a lot of the kids like to strip. A lot of the kids like to strip. When they're wilding. But then some of the kids have to get changed. But that can also turn into a bad situation. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot. We don't want to let too much out. But I can't wait till the day that she moves on from this job. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I can't, I can't say the other thing. Yeah, I got to wait. Cause nah. uh, you just let's t- just say you an employee. Just tell me after. Yeah, just let's just say after. an employee was doing a hold incorrectly. Let's just say they were doing a semi wrestling move on a kid. <laughs> oh, so you over here DDT and kids, huh? <laughs> Not that, but Brit be going, yeah. Brit be going it, into work and be like John Cena. Yeah, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, so. Uh, that that um uh, that person had to get a talking to because <laughs> like uh, you a liability <laughs> you can't do that like uh, you can't make up your own stuff to do you got to do the the holds that were taught to us <laughs> yeah they yeah, be off the like hook because uh, sometimes in a moment yo you just be irked like you just want to snatch him up like but you can't oh yeah oh yeah gotta keep you cool Brett recall uh, I can't even say that mm-hmm. can't even say that yeah thanks don't don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Yes. Um, I think that's it for this week's episode. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Um, Puerto Rican food is nasty. Why did you have to reiterate that? No, nah, it's not nasty, but Puerto Rican <laughs> food is very unimpressive. Um, <laughs> what else we got? Kanye tripping. Uh, as usual. Um, Trump, oh, that's, that's Trump it. staying consistent. <laughs> Trump staying consistent. Uh, oh, yeah. Ka- Kavanaugh's a creepy man. I didn't watch Melania's um, interview. I saw a clip of it this morning when I was waiting for my car at Pet Boys on TV. And she I said, oh, the clip I did see, this is when I almost joined into the conversation, the little political conversation oh. everybody was having. Because I'm uh-uh. like, bitch, shut up. She said that basically oh, she's like the most bullied person right now in the world. Like one of them. Like, like the top three. And I'm like, mm, doubt it. Like, don't nobody be yeah. talking about you like that. I left something out. Hmm. I left something out. Hmm. You want to know why Kanye makes me mad? Because hmm. he put me in a very whack situation the other day. Why? I'm in a basketball fantasy league. Okay. With a co-worker at my job. Uh, he's actually a manager at my job. He's uh, probably 50 years old, something like that. Mm-hmm. This is with all white men. Mm-hmm. His son's in it. He's like, son's, I think, 25 or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I go to this draft at this man's house, and I got to be the black guy in the room with all of them talking about Kanye. Oh, no. They was talking about it? Uh... Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, for pretty much unanimously, they're saying he's crazy. But what did happen... Mm-hmm. Was that one of the guys said? Now, when this happened, CNN 
uh, was talking about it. It was like a mm-hmm. panel. It was like Don Lemon, and I think Don Lemon called mm-hmm. him a uneducated Negro. Mm-hmm. So, the one of the people in the league, one of the mm-hmm. white guys, said the same thing. What did he say? Like, he said, "Oh, he's an uneducated Negro." That's what they said on CNN. Uh. And I gotta decide whether I know I'm in somebody else's house. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not his house. It's mm-hmm. not my coworker. It's my coworker's brother's house. Mm-hmm. But I gotta make a decision whether I need to intervene and say, "Hey, don't say that shit around me." And then kind of, and it happened in the first like 15 minutes I was yeah, there. Yeah, shit. So I had to be mums the word. So mm-hmm. if anything, fuck you, Kanye, for that. Right. Seriously. And then too, it's like. Well, I didn't say nigger. I didn't want to have a conversation. Yeah, exactly. It's like, but you still shouldn't say Negro. I don't care what you say. Just don't say it in front of me, my nigga. Like, but no, but I'm saying in his mind, just because he heard it on fucking CNN, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He probably felt, and it's not the N word necessarily. You know what I mean? To them, it's like, well, it's not the same. Bitch is close enough. The fuck. I just thought it was just really presumptuous that you can say that in front. Of, maybe he forgot I was there. Like, I, then, I think then he just got that, the strength from seeing it as probably a headline little yeah. cl- quit down on CNN. No, then I saw Ugh, um, that sucks. Yeah. yeah, I caught one of the guys like looking, kind of looking at me, yeah. nice, just seeing how I was. Just mm-hmm. fine. I was, yeah, fuck you, Kanye. Right, for real. Bitch, you ain't helping shit. Shut nah, your fucking mouth. Whatsoever. That didn't help. You put me in a very awkward situation. Yeah. I don't appreciate it. Right. And uh, he, he I needs think an apology, it. Kanye. Yeah, apologize to me, <laughs> son. He's a fucking apology. <laughs> apologize to me, son. You ruined my fantasy basketball league. <laughs> apologize to me, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantasy basketball leagues, yo. You always feel like a loser if you have to draft. I don't know why. You just feel like a whole bunch of men over there drafting. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> you just feel like a loser. Use a pencil or a pen. <laughs> <laughs> God, Lee. Or is it like on your phone? Nah, we uh it's we got sheets. Now we can't let you know you <laughs> he man's he man's women hate this club. You can't know oh, what goes on in the secret. No, let me stop. I don't um, need to know. No, you can stop. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> nah, you literally just uh you do your little research like a dork. I just wanted to you know the, if you to literally do it electronically or you have to write on paper. <laughs> we write it on paper and then the commissioner uh the commissioner. Then the commissioner uh what's it called? puts it all on the site that we use. We use CBS Sports. Mm. So he, he makes sure all of our rosters are up. Actually, my roster's up. My team's very lacking. We ain't going to turn this into a sports podcast, but uh, it's not looking like a good year for Zay. Had the eighth <laughs> pick. It's a snake draft. That means you go from one to 12, 12 back to one. That's the order of stuff. Kind of want to be in the four, four to six range. It? No. Once you pick your people or whatever, that's it? No, you can, but, I mean, there's only so many people that are worth having, and they're all used up, so hopefully you can find oh, you somebody in free the agency. Oh, people? No. Ah. That would kind of defeat the purpose, Britt. I don't fucking know. Shit, I ain't know two of y'all can have the same person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Don't can, two bas- can two basketball teams have the same person? No, I mean like two people. I'm playing. Like, I'm playing. Two I'm people of y'all, like y'all can't both have the same person on your um, fantasy league. Mm-mm. Okay. No, no. But uh, yeah, I had to fit that in. Yo, fuck Kanye. <laughs> yeah, that's some bullshit. Screw that nigga. Um, I think we out. Yeah. BZ Podcast. Thank you for listening. Um, like, subscribe. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I never know how to end these things. Say bye. Bye.